Hello and hi everyone. Let me introduce to you the imaginary number i. So, uh, when we square any real number, we will have a positive number. So, for instance, let's say we have 2 square. So, it just equal to positive 4. And uh, let's say we have, let's say we have negative 3 squared. It's just equal to positive 9. So, both of the results here are positive. The question is now, is there any number that when we, that when we square it, will give us a negative, a negative number. Let's say negative 1. So, uh, clearly, there is no real number that satisfies this equation. So, um, let's say we have some will suggest that x is just equal to said negative 1. Because we bring the power 2 here to the right hand side. So, we, we will become the third power of half. So, basically, said negative 1 here is not, is not what we call as real number. It's not real number. It's not tangible. And it is a imaginary number. Imaginary number. So uh, we denote we denote said negative one here. So we denote said negative one here with small i. Stands for imaginary number. So that's what we got. I is equal to said negative one. And from here we also have I squared. So therefore I squared is just equal to negative one. So we we we, we square both sides and then we have this this I squared is equal to negative one. And we can also continue with the with greater power here let's say i have i to the power of three so i to the power of three is just i times with i square where i square here we know from the above here is equal to negative one therefore we have i times with negative one so i to the power of three here is like it is just equal to negative i. And what about i to the power of 4? i to the power of 4 is just i squared times with i squared. So it's just negative 1 times with negative 1. It's just equal to 1. And we may, we may also um, write such, for example, let's say we have said negative 4 so uh, this one is also an imaginary number and we we may write it like this set 4 times with set negative 1 so set 4 is just equal to 2 and set negative 1 here is i so set negative 4 is equal to 2i and we also let's say we have negative 3, set negative 3. So set negative 3 is set 3 times with set negative 1. Again, we have set 3 is set 3. Set negative 1 is i. So we have set 3i. Apart from that, we can also perform algebraic operation for imaginary number. Algebraic operation on imaginary number. So, uh, we have addition and subtraction. We may add and subtract imaginary number such that, let's say, for example, for instance, we have, we have 6i plus 2i. So, it's just equal to 8i. And let's say we, we may have 5i minus with 3i. So, it's just give us the answer with 2i. We may also perform multiplication and division on imaginary number. So, uh, and it, it, it will give us a 
real number. So for instance, we have, let's say, um, 3i times 2i. So we have 6i squared. And i squared, again, i squared is just negative 1. So we have 6 times negative 1. It will become, the final answer is negative 6. And we also, we also have, let's say, 8i divide with 2i. So I, I cancel out. 8 divided by 2 is just equal to 4. So um, I hope this video helps you in understanding the, the concept and the operation involving imaginary number. Till next time, bye bye.